What's up everyone, D-Crack here. So hey, what's up guys, I'm not gonna lie, it's been a long time since I've reacted to some Nukes Top 5. I used to react to it a lot more, I guess I just been reacting to other stuff, but I'm gonna check out a Nukes Top 5 video. This is actually his newest video as of this recording. Top 5 Scary Ghost Videos to Make You Go R. Is this a pirate ghost? <laughs> All right, that was a bad uh, dad joke. I'm, I'm sorry, but Top 5 Scary Ghost Videos to Make You Go R. I'll have a link to the original video down below. Make sure and go check out Nuke's Top 5. But here we go, guys. Let's get into some spooky, scary Nuke's Top 5. All right, guys, here we go. Top five ghosts caught on camera. Norwegian ghost. This next scary video. Norwegian ghost. Oh, they're the worst. You don't mess around with a Norwegian ghost. Oh, hell no. It's from Norway, where we see three girls sitting around playing with a homemade Ouija board. Well, it's either a homemade Ouija board or a Japanese Kokori San board. It's kind of hard to tell. Anyway, as one girl films, nothing much happens at first. Okay, I'm sorry to pause it already, but am I, am I the only one who's never played with a Ouija board? Like, I feel like every time I watch a video, uh, excuse me, enjoy the burp, but I feel like any time I watch a video involving a Ouija board, it never ends well. Never. I've never messed with them in my life, and I don't, I don't plan on it. But then things take a very I don't plan on it. <laughs> turn. <laughs> Too afraid to stand, I'm gonna sit. <laughs> Are we supposed to say hi first? I don't think it freaking matters. You have to kind of invite it? Is that what they said? I'm not inviting shit to my house, especially not some demon ghost. Okay. Stop <laughs> yeah. Hell no. <laughs> oh God, what's gonna happen? It says it's, it's not working. Is that chandelier above their heads going to move or something? Say good day then. Good day. Good day, mate. Holy... This seems real. Some of these videos I watch seem fake. That was a legit reaction. How the hell did that move on its own? The damn spirit is here now. I hope they know with the Ouija boards, I'm pretty sure you have to say like goodbye or you have to close the portal. Otherwise, it will stay there in your house or like follow you home. I hope they say goodbye. Otherwise, it's probably just going to get worse. Oh no. Huh. Pull yourself together. I shouldn't have been here in the first place. Yeah, you should probably leave. I can see a green light on the screen right now. A green light? What? If that door swings open... Hell no. This is creepy. 
Hell no. She said, give us a sign. Nothing is happening. I have a feeling you just, you're going to have to wait. I told you the freaking chandelier light is moving. The freaking light is moving now. The chandelier. No, no. You girls are ro royally effed. If there's one thing you're to be playing learned with this something, video, it's that when you're messing yeah, with no. ghosts on a Ouija board, never no. say, quote, it's not working or, quote, show us a sign. Yeah. So, uh, do you think this is a scary video of a summoned ghost call? See, me personally, I'm just going to say this quick. I think that's real because they legit seem scared. They seem terrified. It doesn't seem fake or staged. I mean, how would they get the chandelier to just start moving on its own or the cup to just move across the table by itself? Unless, I mean, it, I didn't see anyone else there. It didn't look like there was any like strings attached or anything, but there's always a chance it could be fake, but I feel like it's, that seemed real. Not on camera? That seemed or real in my opinion. Just bored Norwegian <laughs> girls pulling a prank? Let me know. Viewer videos. Viewer you can stop videos. Viewers and first time paranormal explorers Salem and Faras travel to the abandoned Excellencia Hotel Suites in the city of Amman, Jordan. They plan to conduct a nighttime exploration of the creepy nine story building. The hotel is said to be haunted nine after a tragic stories? event that happened five Damn. years ago. A man found his wife cheating on him in a hotel room on the third <gasps> floor. In a rage, no. the man took her life and that of her lover. Soon after, the hotel was forced to shut down after receiving a bad reputation and guests began to claim that Damn. they experienced a constant dreadful feeling of being watched. Oh, However, hell no. Solomon and Faras are more worried about encountering real and very much alive people during their exploration as they too feel like they're being watched and followed. Do, do when like, they reach the supposedly haunted do third homeless floor, people live the there? explorers experience something downright chilling. So this is in Israel. Dude, dude. who the f did this? I have a feeling they're probably not supposed to be in that building, so they're probably tr trespassing. This is not. Good. Hopefully, the police don't show up. <laughs> what the hell was that? Was there something in that doorway? Oh, hell no. Okay. okay. Since we entered this place, we can't get a good feeling after this. I feel like I'm being followed. Someone or something is following them, I think. Something is following them. I have a bad feeling. And I'm just watching the video. I can't imagine how scary it must be for these guys. I'm not planning to go in. I'm not gonna go in. This is freaking creepy. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Someone was here. There's just ran There's just random clothes there. There is more clothes. You guys know that a huge building like that abandoned, like a huge hotel that's been abandoned, there has to be there has to be homeless people that live there, you know. Or who knows what the hell's going on in that hotel. Paranormal or homeless people or just whatever. But there has to be other people there. There has to be. And that giant building? I don't know. I got a bad feeling, though. Oh, this <laughs> Did he just see somebody? No, 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 no. Are you sure? 
If something, if somebody pops up, I'm gonna crap my pants. What the hell happened? I didn't, I didn't see. Solemn claims that he felt that something was watching them. And when analyzing the footage, a strange, bizarre shape can be seen in a room at the end of the hallway. Oh, Salem pans what? His camera back to the hallway. Nothing there. Then his friend Forrest claims to have seen someone in the hotel room where the tragic event took place, and they both oh, just no. make a run for it. They saw somebody. In the last shot, a terrifying figure can be seen watching the two friends from very close by. Oh no! So did something paranormal chase them out of the hotel? Get the hell out of there! Just what is this? That's definitely up to you to decide. That's a that's a you demon. Can watch the full exploration Ugh. over on the YouTube channel. Salem and Fares, GHT. Damn. Now this next spooky video was sent in by Nuke's top five viewer, Pastor Aaron from Peace Memorial Church in Oregon. Pastor Aaron explains in his email that because of the current global health crisis, he was attempting to record announcements for the church's temporary online services. He's using his phone to record a video when he is interrupted by something that he just can't explain. What the hell did he catch on camera? Well, hey everybody, Pastor Aaron here. It's my pleasure just to announce that we this Sunday will be, oh, will be uh, open. What? Okay, we're we're uh, we've been trying to do this announcement several times today already, and uh, three times that podium back there has fallen over. Three times, own, and it's what. It's stable. I mean, it's not wobbly at all. It's uh, kind of like the, that uh, podium has been. That is freaking weird. And why would this guy fake it? He's a frick. You know, he's a pastor. He's just trying to record an announcement for for his church. Why? You know, I don't think a pastor would fake something like this. And normally, there's not. I feel like there shouldn't be paranormal stuff going on in a church because a church is supposed to be like safe or, you know, holy, like protected by God. So why would there be like demons or spirits in a church? That's weird. Wobbling? That is okay, weird. So the, huh? We check the vent. There's a vent there that is not an air duct that has any forced air at all. What so the it can't be hell? Oh, there's absolutely no breeze in here. You can see by the banner there. There's this no, no air conditioning. No fans on. They're off. I don't know. So I'm just gonna sit here and you watch guys, for a little bit. The American flag is moving. And, uh, Why is the flag moving? It moved a little bit. Let's see if it does it again. Did you guys see the flag? The flag is moving. What? Ooh, that thing's moving. What? That that is freaking creepy. That's new. This is some poltergeist shit right here. Yo. Seriously, nothing else. There's no breeze. It's moving again. Good grief. That's weird. You're a pastor. Start praying, pastor bro. Aaron says that he has used the podium Say, get the hell out of my church. It has never once been uh. wobbly or suddenly fallen over. Even stranger, the flagpole next to the podium begins to move on its own as well. The pastor explains that nothing spooky that is or paranormal weird. has ever happened at the church, but he says that a few times he has been called to help families who were dealing with paranormal events at their homes. So could something have followed Pastor Aaron back to the church? What? Let me know what you think. I don't know. I don't know what to think. You send that vid to Nuke. It's so good. I didn't. Is he still doing new ones? Yeah, a couple times a month. I don't see an email on his channel. <laughs> this next video was sent in by That's Nate funny. Howard from Providence, Utah. That's funny. Nate says in his email that he and his family moved to their new rental home just four months ago. And almost immediately, they began to experience very creepy and unexplainable... You guys imagine moving into like a new apartment or a new house and just having like paranormal shit happen to you? I'd be like, oh, hell no. We're moving again. We're hitting the road and we're finding a new place. Activity. 
The family hears the unexplained sound of multiple people walking around the house. Doors and cupboards open and close on their own, and lights in the house turn on and off at all hours of the night. What? After being woken by these bizarre noises Hell several no. times, the family decided uh. to set up a few security cameras around the home. Two days later, Nate discovers one of the cameras has recorded something absolutely chilling. No. Not more not more poltergeist crap. <laughs> there was an orb. Yep. Your house is officially haunted. There's a bunch of orbs. Was the that in the kitchen flicker on Was that a freaking person? A strange shadow figure appears out of nowhere. They just baffled what? that they've captured no, a camera and no, there's no, a that the no. cameras might have somehow triggered whatever might be haunting their new home. But what do you think this could be? Let me know down below. That was a straight up like person or shadow figure. Hell no. Before we move on to the Hell next video, no. if you see anything huh. that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The uh, kids uh, in the hall. Urbex Explorer Colin from the YouTube channel The Bearded Explorer often finds himself the in some of the creepiest abandoned locations in England. Oh, that's he says cool. He's never been to one as scary as this. A hospital that was built in 1882 to treat children suffering from horrible infectious diseases. The large structure oh my closed down God. in the 1980s and has been left to rot ever since. Considering the building's tragic history, it's no wonder that Colin feels a little creeped out as he heads inside completely alone to explore the old hospital. But it gets oh, That's creepy worse as hell. Because he starts to hear some very odd sounds. God, this <laughs> is really creepy. Are there other people in so there? I hate, I, I love it, but I hate it at the same time, walk around these places on your own because, I don't know. I right would now, never it, go in the, this place like by myself. Right Hell no. Following me. There's not, but it feels like that. What? Nope. No, no, no. <laughs> Just random knocking noises? Hell no. <laughs> what the hell is that? This reminds me of the game I played Outlast. Shout out to my gaming channel, Decrat Games, if you want to subscribe to my gaming channel. Link down below in the description, Decrat Games. Yes. There's like a random pipe, random pipe or something just hit the freaking ground. Oh no. Hello. Understandably, Colin gets more and more freaked out by all the unexplained sounds that seem to be coming from somewhere very near him. He decides to just end his exploration, but before he does, he puts his camera down on the ground to get one last standard B-roll shot of himself walking the hospital hall. Does he catch something instead, on camera? No, no, something. no. Downright chilling. While filming my walk up, I heard a noise very close to me. It scared me so much I turned and ran back to my camera. Then I saw the figure. <gasps> Did you see it? No, I Colin didn't is see it. When he sees what looks like the dark figure of a child standing at the end of the hallway. As he grabs up his camera, he it captures was a children's just a hospital. The figure Yo. as it disappears into thin air. Now, some people say that what Colin captured could just be explained away as a shadow or an optical illusion, while others are convinced that he did actually see the apparition of a little boy inside the haunted hospital. Wow. So a month later, and after many requests from his viewers, Colin returns to the abandoned hospital again. It probably goes without saying, but it did not go well. Did he go back at night? Dude, you're uh. crazy. The first time he went there during the day. Did he seriously go back at nighttime? Dude, you're crazy. You're crazy to go there by yourself at night, bro. Hell no. Why am I doing this? Bro. Why am I here on my own? 
walking around this abandoned hospital that I saw something. I, I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was a ghost. I don't it, know why you're doing it, it either, I mean, I mate. can show you guys now, right? <laughs> this is basically where I was standing. This, this is where I was. The camera was literally so there. This is what you saw. If he sees basically that little kid that. again, now, bro, I get the hell out of there. I cracked myself. I ran back <laughs> here, and as I picked it up, I went like that. And then I saw something just behind that blue chair. Now, bearing in mind, I saw it with my own eyes. I didn't realize I had it on camera, but a lot of you guys were saying it's shadows, it's this, it's that, but you know, I just cannot stress to you enough that this wasn't a shadow. I actually saw something move. It's definitely nighttime. It's dark outside. There's the window right there. That, you know, there is no shadow. I feel like it'd be 10 times creepier at night. That's just me, but like I have to give it to this guy, the the bearded what, the bearded explorer? Is that his name or something like that? He's got some big balls. I'll give him that. What was that? I'll give him that. <laughs> oh, I think it's just water dripping. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm probably putting off going up there. But Oh, Jesus Christ. I could just... Does he catch something on camera me. again, I wonder? <laughs> right. Let's do this. <sighs> Bang. Oh, my God. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Yo, this has me on edge. I'm sure I heard something. If some little kid pops out, I wind. swear. I felt that I had to come back here and just, just come here again and just see. Face your you fear. Know, try and find a reason, you know, some like an explanation, if you like. To this is like straight out of a horror movie, but it's real life. It's not fake. I never put. <laughs> this is weird. I think it is just what. Okay, is okay. it just is it just me or does it sound okay, like someone's scary? So it sounds like someone's walking around in there. I'm pretty sure it's just water dripping, but I thought I heard footsteps. Oh. God, this is absolutely what the. F I feel like a little kid is gonna pop up or some. No, I'm I'm hearing noises. Freaking creature or something. There is. Oh, I, I, I'm just, just so I'm waiting right for, now. I'm but waiting for a jump scare. <laughs> again, here's odd unexplained noises coming from all around him. He heads up to the hospital's second floor, takes a look around, and then heads back down to the first floor hallway. And that's when things take a terrifying turn. What? <sighs> what is it about this place? This reminds me of the video game Outlast. Oh, like I said, I the, this place already. the asylum. Just listen. A ball, a freaking ball just rolled across the floor. The kid just wants to play with you. A small red ball comes rolling out of one of the hospital rooms Yo. and makes a run for it. After all that he's seen and heard at the old abandoned hospital, Colin says he'll never go back alone. He's had enough. You can watch both <laughs> explorations at the abandoned hospital and many more great Urbex videos over on the YouTube channel, The Bearded Explorer. Nice. Mother. Mother? Canadian paranormal investigator Jordan from the popular YouTube channel Paranormie sets out on a solo investigation I've watched to a small two-bedroom <laughs> home in Winnipeg, Canada that is believed to be haunted by a troubled spirit. The house belongs to a man named Anesh who grew up in the home with his mother, Manisha. But one day, Anesh's beloved mother, Manisha, fell extremely ill. Refusing to go to the hospital, Manisha passed away on her own bed in the home that she and Anesh shared. Anesh was absolutely devastated when he found her. Struck with intense, debilitating grief, he was unable to call the authorities for two days as he mourned. Today, so the body just sat there in the house for two days? Ugh. That probably didn't smell good. 
Esh believes that he made a terrible mistake Damn. by waiting huh. so long, as his culture believes that a body must receive a proper burial ritual soon after death, or the spirit could become trapped and unable to move on. Oh and God! Esh claims that his mother has appeared to him as a white cat, greeting him every day on his way to work. He has also seen his mother white standing cat. in his bedroom doorway after waking up in the middle oh. of the night. Anesh says that the home has been so... No, I'm sorry. Even though it is his, the spirit of his mother, that would still be... That would still be creepy. I, I... No. I'd be like, Mom, I'm trying to sleep. Just go away. <laughs> paranormally active that he truly believes no. the spirit of his mother is trapped inside. Paranormal investigator Jordan spends a night at the house in the hopes of helping Manisha's ghost pass on from its earthly bonds. Jordan decides to try a supernatural test. He leaves a motion-activated ball at the top of the stairs in the loft before continuing his investigations downstairs. Later, when he finds himself back at the staircase to the loft, he's in for a chilling surprise. Okay, I think... Whoa! The ball's going off right now. The ball's going off? Okay, I think. Whoa, the ball's going off. Right I now. don't see anything though. Just the ball flashing. Can you touch it again? Thank you for being active and using the equipment. Manisha, one more time, please. Can you touch the motion ball? If it goes off again, yo. Whoa. Oh. Okay, okay. What? No. Okay. She she didn't make the ball go off. She freaking pushed it. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, that was clearly pushed by something paranormal. Okay. Yo, that was crazy. What the hell? Huh. What? The ball broke. Now this thing can't, doesn't light up at all. He checks the upstairs loft, but doesn't find any explanation as to how the little ball could have suddenly launched itself down the stairs. When Jordan heads back down, this happens. Oh. I hate what? These stairs. Does something try to push him? Whoa. Okay. What the, the hell was that? The attic mysteriously closes on its own. Jordan decides to sit down on the bed where Mother hell Manisha no. tragically passed away in hopes of communicating with her spirit. What happens next is downright chilling. Manisha, are you st are you still here? Or are you are you done for the night? Bathtub faucet turns on. What? She's running herself a bath, or she's gonna take a shower. Give her some privacy, dude. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't laugh about that. It's tragic that she passed away, but I was I was trying to make light of the situation. Oh. What? That can't be real. Was there actually the shape of someone in the freaking shower? Yo, that gave me chills. That gave me freaking chills. Venetia. What the hell? Venetia, if I follow these footsteps, am I gonna find you? There's wet okay. foot footprints. Okay, Venetia. No way. No freaking way. I think way. it's time that we met face to face, right? God, that is. I'm I'm scared. Of course, she went into the freaking basement. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. 
a light bulb just busted. Oh that was a light bulb being okay. smashed. What Wait, in the that. hell? If you want me to leave, I'll leave. I thought we were friends. The bathtub faucet suddenly turns on and when Jordan checks it out, he finds someone or something standing in the bathtub. Whoever what? or whatever it is appears to be dressed in red. The figure then disappears from the bathroom, leaving behind only watery footprints that lead down to the basement. When Jordan follows the footprints down, the lid of the washing machine... Guys, I'm sorry. That was freaking like, I don't, I don't know if this is real or fake here, but I think Paranormies videos are normally real, right? I don't think they're staged. Oh, guys, that was freaking scary. Whew lifts and drops on its own what the hell huh. oh then a light bulb next to the washer spontaneously bursts <sighs> yeah you can hear oh yeah there you could hear is. the light bulb breaking yo a static camera pointing towards the door to the basement and the door to the attic records as jordan heads back upstairs without the investigator knowing the camera catches something truly Bizarre. What? Oh, there's a rough hot. Anisha? There was like a green light or like a green oh, orb. Anisha? What are we looking at? A shadow figure quickly darts into the living room as Jordan comes around the corner of the basement. So could this be the spirit of Manisha still trapped inside the home she shared with her son? That was weird. I don't know. I don't know. You can watch this entire two-part investigation with even more terrifying- Guys, I'm, like, I'm kind of on the fence with this one because it's like, it almost seems too scary to be true. Like, did he actually catch someone in a red dress in the shower and like, it almost seems too good to be true, if that makes sense. Like, he caught too much good evidence, but who knows? It could be real. It definitely could be real. I don't know. Buying activity and a possible conversation with Manisha's ghost over on the YouTube channel, Paranormies. Hide and seek. Jordanian ghost hunter Ahmad Sali sets out to investigate a home that's been terrorized by extreme paranormal activity. Oh, the God. The of the family <laughs> who lives in the house reached out to Ahmad, claiming to have seen the apparition of a little Ahmad. boy. Ahmad. He says the child spirit plays with his daughter's toys, often screaming and throwing fits of rage. What? The family believes the boy to be a dangerous shape-shifting djinn, and they feel that it is no longer safe to live in their home. Tell Ahmad it to leave. Tell it to get the hell out of your house. For the terrified family, he streams his investigation live on Snapchat. As the investigator walks Why around Snapchat? the house, mm, <laughs> nothing much seems to happen. Why not do YouTube so he puts or something? Down his phone and decides to walk away from it, hoping something might appear while he's not observing. His live audience is shocked by what the phone captures. Are they gonna catch a little freaking kid? Oh God. Show up on camera, and if my voice is heard, okay. Tell me if my voice is clear. We'll see after the recording if it shows up on camera. No. There's no freaking way. Ahmad is looking away and has no idea that the little boy has made a chilling appearance. Guys, I feel like this isn't fake because the little boy spirit or jinn is it's like it's almost see-through. Unaware of the lurking jinn. Like it's black, but it's like a shadow. Like you can see through it. It's like transparent. Oh hell no. He records himself as he steps inside the same. It has room, like a toy it has right like a toy. Next to the figure. It's holding a toy in his hand. The still doesn't see anything. But his live audience does. What the hell? Oh, 
Oh, hell no. The boy, it was behind him. The little boy was freaking behind him. Oh my god, no. This little boy's not not scared to be caught. He showed up on camera three three different times. See child see child figure on phone. There's nothing in the room. There's nothing in the frickin' room. Ahmad is shocked when he finally sees the boy. He quickly grabs his phone and hurries inside oh, this, the room. This video is too much. There's no one there. I'm and not here. I'm not gonna sleep sleep well tonight. Only intensifies. <laughs> A few moments later, and this happens. How you? Eh? I would, I would crap my pants, I'm not gonna lie. I would crap my pants. Oh, hell no. Huh. Does he catch it on camera again? And Ahmad suddenly hears a loud slamming sound in the other room. When he goes to check it out, again, there's nothing there. Ahmad is baffled and continues to search throughout the house. These spirits come and bring chaos. What is that? What is that? This video has my heart rate up. Yo. The boy started screaming. Again, the boy shows himself. Ahmad runs to find the child, but he has disappeared yet again. It's like he's playing so with the them. Investigator capture the gin that he's is playing with the them. Family? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Thanks for watching. Check out my Instagram. The thing is, though, how the hell would you fake that if he's doing a live stream? How would he fake that? I mean, I'm sure there's always ways to fake stuff, but I feel like that would be very difficult to stage or set up and fake that. I don't know. But guys, this was scary. I'm not going to lie. There were some video clips in here that were freaking scary. <laughs> this is why I only react to Nukes Top 5 every once in a while. <laughs> But this was top five scary ghost videos to make you go R. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, smash the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Leave a comment down below. As always, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time. Peace.